This is Twit. Well, prepare to have your mind blown. Leap Motion unveiled a cheap plastic clip today that changes everything for the worlds of both virtual and augmented reality. The clip enables the motion detector to attach itself to the front of Facebook's Oculus Rift headset. Let's take a look at an incredible demonstration of the integration released a few hours ago by Leap Motion. Now, the hands and fingers and knuckles and thumbs and everything are being detected in motion in real time and then applied to a kind of virtual reality, augmented reality combination where physical objects are being mo moving out of the way of the hands in this specific application. I don't know about you, Elise, but cool I need looking. one. This is like Lawnmower Man right before our exactly. eyes. Exactly. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> now the hands are being used as a gesture control for flying like Superman over Lawnmower Man's uh, 80s era virtual reality yeah. grid. <laughs> That's pretty cool stuff. Yeah. Now there's a sort I'd of tai, this. tai Chi energy exchange between the fingers. Right. <laughs> I actually know a guy who does that in real life. Well, there it is. There's the there's the uh, the combination right there. Gigahome Sina Brewster joins us now with the details she wrote about this for Gigahome. Welcome, Sina. Hi, Mike. Thanks for having me on. Thank you so much for being here because you've tried the Leap Motion and Oculus Rift combination and you said that this is, quote, Leap Motion's big application, otherwise, in other words, a killer app. Why do you believe that? Yes. Um, so last year when Leap Motion came out, I tried it. You know, it's normally it just is a little um, device that sits on a desktop and you can use it to control different things on your computer. And it always was just a little bit tiring on the wrist, just not, you know, I wanted to go back to a mouse and a keyboard. But with this, this is exactly what you need for Oculus Rift, and I was just super impressed. Yeah, I was actually going to bring that up. So, I mean, two and a half, almost three years ago, Leap Motion was supposed to be, or a lot of tech, the t tech industry reporters were writing about tech or Leap Motion being sort of, and an, an gesture control being the next big thing, and that this was going to be more widely adopted. Um, what? Why didn't it happen? Why didn't gesture control um, become the next big thing? And how is this particular application different? So when I met with the Leap Motion co-founders earlier this week, they made a really good point that everyone is just super entrenched in how they use computers. Um, we've all been using them for a decade, two decades, three decades, and the mouse is just what we're comfortable with. And it's really hard to switch after something becomes so natural. Whereas uh, Oculus, it's actually just supposed to be totally intuitive how you naturally act. You know, the whole idea of Oculus is you can turn your head and it's replicated exactly in virtual reality just makes sense that you should be able to move your hands and use them to control things. And that's exactly what Leap Motion is for. So uh, I have an alternative theory about that. My belief is that uh, using motion, in-the-air motion, for controlling a computer, uh, uh, so your, your hands are waving over here and something's happening over there, is a fundamentally unnatural thing for a human being to do, especially in an era when we have direct touch, where we use touch tablets. Those feel really good to use, and even two-year-olds can use them because it's totally natural for us to directly interact with things and have them move and respond to our physical touch. And so I think that's the reason, the biggest reason Leap Motion hasn't taken off. It's fundamentally unnatural to use motion gesture, you know, to use hand gestures for controlling a computer. However, there are two things that it is natural for us to use hand gestures for. One is communication. We use hand signals all the time, especially if we're Italian. Uh, but we, you know, and also uh, other physical characteristics like body language and facial gestures and so on. And the other one is, again, touching, directly touching physical reality. Now, in virtual reality or in a combination of augmented and virtual reality, we're, once again, you're in there directly touching things, that you're creating the illusion that you're directly touching things. It's really a killer. I agree with you completely. It's a killer app to combine these two things. And my only question for you is, when is Mark Zuckerberg going to buy Leap Motion? <laughs> I have not heard any rumor to that effect yet, but I'm wondering if he has his eye on it now. And uh, this is for developers only now, right? Not for mass market? Yes. The clip that went out today is just for developers um, Oculus Rift actually hasn't been released to the public, so anyone who has an Oculus Rift headset right now is supposed to be a developer. Sina, tell us about Dragonfly. So Dragonfly is kind of a futuristic possible um, successor to the Leap Motion device that's out right now. 
Um, I tried it out. And so the idea with the current uh, version of Leap Motion is that it uses infrared to track its surroundings. But Dragonfly actually adds in um, RGB so you can see actual color. So if you put on an Oculus Rift with the current Leap Motion, you can look around and see people kind of in black and white with that infrared view. But with Dragonfly, you could look around and see full color. It's almost like a live video feed of the world is being fed into Oculus Rift, which opens up some really, really cool augmented reality applications. Now, you've tried this, but did they give you a developer kit to, to take home and, and use it uh, on your own time? Or did you have to go somewhere and just use it and then, and then leave? Yeah, I was just at the Leap Motion office, so I don't have my own quite yet. Oh, <laughs> I too wish bad. I did. Let us yep. know when you do, and we'll get you on the show, and um, you can demo it live on the on the show if you're up for it. <laughs> Just me waving my head. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it looks crazy, hand. right, from the outside. No, you can you can show both the person like going around like a zombie, yeah. and then you see what they see, and it all makes sense. Cena Brewster is at gigom.com, and you can follow her on Twitter at s i g n e j b. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.